Yo, what is up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how I can edit a Fortnite montage for beginners on DaVinci Resolve. So basically in this video I'll be showing the basics of DaVinci Resolve and basically just how to use the app and how to create a decent montage without that much effort. So uh, uh, what you're going to want to do is obviously get a song, I'm going to choose a slow mo. It's a really good song that I used like a month ago I'd say for my Fortnite montage. Uh, it was actually a really clean one, go check it out if you want. And uh, what you're going to first want to do is basically play the song. Actually, let me turn down the volume a bit because you guys don't like it when it's too high. Alright, so as you can see right here, there's like a big, like, uh, what's it called? There's like a big, like, uh, waveform and audio. Like, it's just. Basically, what you're going to, want to look for is a big uh, part in the audio, like as you can see right here, it's just all smooth until there's just this one big beat drop. So what you're going to, want to do is click M on your keyboard on where like the beat drop starts, and uh, now just trim it down. Like I'd say, like that would be good, and uh, go onto your clip and find where the numbers first pop up on the kill. So go frame by frame with the arrow keys and just find. So I'd say right here, as you can see, the numbers do pop up. As you can see, it says 142. So uh, what you're going to do there is add a marker and uh, drag the audio back. So it basically lines up with the clip and like with the shot. And uh, what we're going to do now is go into playback and timeline proxy mode. Uh, click uh, quarter resolution, it will make everything smoother. So, as you can see, it lines up perfectly. And uh, I'm gonna just make the audio a bit higher because, like, you can't really hear this too much. Uh, this won't be necessary for any clips, it's just uh, the audio in this clip ain't great. And uh, now, what you're gonna want to do is right click on the clip. And right here, you say where uh, you see link clips. Uh, click on it, so basically the audio and the video become different tracks. And uh, now, on the clip part, on like the blue part, click Control R on your keyboard for time controls. Uh, I know it does look kind of confusing now, but. Uh, you guys can go back and see what exactly what I did just step by step since you're a beginner It'll probably take like more than one try to have it perfect But click on like the little triangle that you see next to the hundred at a speed point on the marker of the clip Go 20 frames back 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 That should be good and uh, go 10 frames in front of the speed point that you just marked. Uh, I forgot to mention that when you go 20 frames back, click again on the little triangle and add a speed point. Uh, and then go 10 frames in front, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Click on the little triangle again and add a speed point. Now it looks even more confusing for you guys, but it'll get easier like as time goes on. Click on the first triangle, or like out of these two, click the this triangle right here, uh, and change the speed to 50, and then go into the second one, and change that speed to 200, and uh, now what you're going to want to do is just, the middle speed point, you're going to want to drag it back, just by uh, left click on your mouse, so uh, the last speed point lines up with the marker. It's kind of confusing, I know, but uh, that's just how it is, I guess. And uh, make the make the last triangle right here where it says 100, like the remaining, change that to 50. And now what you're going to want to do is on the marker of the kill, or of the clip, uh, make sure you're on the marker with your playback head and click shift and arrow key uh, just once. And what you're going to do now is trim uh, with this uh, blade tool right here. 
trim it right there where you just went to and trim in the exact same spot in the audio. And now just delete these with backspace. Just select them and delete them. So it's not too long now. And it's pretty clean. Uh, there is a little speed up. And uh, now what you're gonna wanna do for the impact is go into effects, like the effects tab right here on your left hand side. Go into adjustment clip and place it over top of the of the marker and uh, go to where the clip basically ends and get this tool again right here and trim it down and then just delete this so now that you guys actually do have the adjustment clip lined up with everything go into the middle tab right here uh, it looks like a magic wand uh, click on it this is called the fusion tab if you guys did not know and uh, what you're going to do now is uh, click uh, control space and look for camera shake uh, camera shake uh, my typing is not good uh, and the first option you're just going to want to click add and with this right here uh, left click it and click shift and just drag it so actually you know just to make it easy for you guys get this line right here and then just uh, drag it so it connects to camera shake and then the other end of camera shake it connected to media out and uh, what you're going to do now is just copy my settings that I have on the right hand side alright guys now you guys see my setting on the right hand side the X deviation you want, you're going to want to have zero Y deviation 0.85 this one's really important uh, rotation deviation uh, zero randomness zero uh, overall sh overall strength you actually won't put that to one and speed uh, just keep it at 0 0.8 and make sure that the edges are mirrored so then it makes it way nicer and uh, I know it does look a bit wonky right now because it's just going up and down but uh, what you're gonna want to do now is click this little diamond next to the overall strength right here uh, click it click it. It's kind of confusing like when I first started my editing I didn't really want to click it because it'd be like it. I got scared of it kind of but uh, Yeah, so just click it and uh, go 10 frames in front uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and dra and uh, Drag the, like the uh, line and the circle and then drag it back to zero So it should look like this. It's a really clean shake that goes up and down. It's called a Y shake and uh, now I'm not done yet. Uh, click Control Space again, and add Glow, and add the second one actually. Add this one, uh, and click Add. And right now it'll take a while to load because uh, I'm recording, and it's like two nodes add more lag, or two settings add more lag. All right, so now they have the glow added. Uh, color, right here where you see colorize, change this to like a pink right here. I'd say that would be good right here. Uh, it's just in the bottom left part of like the uh, square. And put the shine threshold. So I'd say 0.3 would be good. And spread, make it, I'd say one and keyframe the shine threshold and uh, go to the end and uh, put it to one so basically it fades out of a glow and uh, now uh, what you're going to do is add a flicker addition right here and uh, just disconnect this line right here that's connecting glow and the media out and uh, connect it connect the flicker addition to the media out and uh the range what you're gonna want to do is put it i like to put it 0.15 and then keyframe it with the little diamond and go to around the middle of this little bar right here which for me would be like around right here and keyframe it to zero or drag it back down to zero and uh i'm going to show you guys how it looks in the edit tab this is called edit tab by the way so i just went back to the edit tab and uh, it's gonna lag, obviously. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna lag. But as you can see in slow mo, it looks really nice. 
and uh, now for your second clip go back into the in your file explorer and just get a random clip uh, I'm just gonna do godly edit course from zone wars uh, by the way these clips are by Zen Lick uh, actually no not this clip that's the one I just used uh, PG nasty let's use this one and like I said before look to where the numbers first pop up which you can see them right here uh, add a marker on where the numbers first pop up and I and find the second big beat drop and right here where it says whoa this is a big beat drop because like it's like really rectangular I'd say right here uh, it doesn't really make sense but <laughs> just go along with it add a marker and uh, just connect this uh, to it right there and then just drag this out a bit and right here as you can see there the clip and the audio and obviously the song are lined up and just do exactly what I did before unlink the clips uh, click on the clip and click Control R at a speed point go 20 frames back 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 I think that's 20 actually Maybe which ones? I, yeah just around 20 it doesn't have to be perfect uh, add a speed point on it and then go to the middle and add another speed point and uh, the first triangle make it 50 second triangle make it 200 uh, drag this back so it lines up and then make the 100 speed 50 and make this part 60 frames like by clicking shift on and arrow key on your keyboard uh, split both of these uh, right there and just delete these two so let me show you how it looks like and uh, now I'm um, obviously put the volume up right like that and uh, I'm gonna just so if you want to have the exact same impact which I'd recommend because if you're a beginner you don't really need too many different impacts and uh, just click on the adjustment clip that you just made with like my settings and uh, click on it and click alt and then just drag it with your left click and uh, it should line up perfectly and put it over top of the marker, of course. That's exactly what you can do. And uh, this should basically be it, but uh, what I'm gonna show you now is uh, the transitions, the video transitions. So uh, what you're gonna wanna do is, I, w I like the, the Rotate 91. That one's really cool. Right, let me uh, do that. Rotate 90. Where is it? I literally just had it. Rotate 90, put it on on like that. And uh, it will lag, of course, like I said before. Like that, Make just make sure to trim it down a bit. I'd say that is good. And uh, now I'd say you're basically done. Uh, I'm just gonna shorten the music clip. With, uh, like that and then just fade it out and uh, if you guys did enjoy this helpful tutorial make sure to drop a like subscribe all those things you know because uh, I do drop basically daily videos on how to help you in DaVinci Resolve so it does help a lot we are so close to 1,000 subscribers which is crazy so please drop a sub uh, join my discord it will be in, my, in the description and I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys next time peace